So this states, what is the graph of the linear inequality of 2x minus 3 is less than 12? So 2x minus 3y is less than 12. So again, what, what, for what, what I can do to uh, graph this inequality is I can simply change this to a y-intercept form, right? Uh, this here, uh, this this sign here, I can kind of treat it as equals with an exception, right? So in order for me to do that, I can simply just do, uh, I can move x to the other side. Again, I'm isolating for my y for my y-intercept value, right? So 2x would go on this side here. So I would have negative 3y is uh, less than, I have 12 minus 2x, right? here and then i can simply divide negative three to both sides right so i have y here um, um divided by i can divide uh, both sides here by negative three or oh, let me let me just draw this out first if i divide both sides by negative three here you have to be careful every time i divide something by negative three and if i have a uh, an inequality here it flips the sign so in this case i have y here instead of less than it's gonna be uh, I have greater than, and then this would be negative 4, 12 divided by negative 3 is negative 4, and then I'll have plus 2 over 3x here. And this here is my graph for, uh, and I can graph this as well in terms of, I can sketch a graph of this here, right? Because I know my slope here is, I know my, um, my, uh, my y-intercept. So this here is, I can, I can graph it, right? Uh, this here is x, this here is y. So again, my y-intercept here is negative 4. And then I have a slope of 2 thirds, right? So again, it, it means that I'm going um, up by 2 and then I'm going uh, right by 3, right? Again, it's a positive value here. So again, I have to also solve for uh, in terms of, um, uh, because my y has to be always greater than uh, this uh, algebraic expression here, right? So again, uh, which means y here, um, is uh, uh well, well let me let me just sketch this graph actually first so again i have two over three so i can i'm going one two up by two and then right by three so this we get i'll get another point here um actually hold up let me do this is three two and one this is one two and three four, five, and six. So up by two, uh, left by, th right by three, up by two, and the left by three would give me some sort of graph line that kind of looks something like this. Um, that would kind of be my line here. So again, what they could, what they did here is zero and four, and this here is my uh, correct uh, solution, right? So again, this here, I plugged in like 0 and 4, and 4 is my y-intercept. Again, my x-intercept here is 6 and 0. And this here is going to my graph for the solution, right? So again, um, my graph here actually only extends to, again, this plane, right? Because it's an inequality, right? So it actually, it actually has a boundary between these um, uh, between these two planes, uh, this, this quadrant here. So I don't have, it can't extend into the next quadrant or this quadrant here, because remember it has to still, uh, satisfy my, um, my equation here, uh, negative four plus two over three X or Y has to be greater than these, uh, this equation here. So, uh, this solution here is correct. Again, they drew out the plane in which, um, this, uh, this, uh, uh, the, they said since zero zero satisfies the given inequality, hence the shaded region will be the required graph, right? So this here, um, this this graph here is uh, is or this inequality shows this plane here, right? So this is good, and my line here lies on this plane, right? It lies on uh, this plane here. So this here again, um, my solution here is correct, um, and what they did was oh they just solved. They convert in an inequality into an equality. That's good. And then they just plotted it, plotted this graph here. So that's that works out as well. This here is a great solution and analysis. And again, you can you can always use uh, Desmos and check your answer here. So let me just use Desmos and I can check out check my graph here and state that I don't know if I can do less than or equal less than or equal, but let me try this. This is two x minus three y is greater or the less than 12, right? And as you can see, this is kind of the shaded region that we were talking about before. Um, and, or let me do equals, equals 12, equals 12 here. And this here is the point. This here would be my point at zero four. 
So again, this here would be my y intercept, right? This here is my zero four is my y intercept or uh, y intercept, and this here is my x intercept with six equal uh, six zero, right? So again, this here is my line into the shader region. So it actually keeps going like this, and it can't go above because again, uh, it's le it has to be less than twelve here, and it can't go. Uh, it does not exist in terms of the bottom region here. So this here is my line. I graphed my um graphed my line like so. This here is the correct answer. So great solution analysis. So. Thank <laughs> you.